Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Samriddhi from India and in this problem we have three comments 2p slash Anki, 4p slash Phi and 8p slash Tuttle and they have orbital period of 3 years, 8 years and 13 years respectively. The perihelion of each of these comets were in 2017, 2014 and 2008. What is the next year in which all three of these comets will achieve perihelion in the same year? And we can assume that the time is measured in whole numbers of the years and each orbital period is constant. So how to solve this problem? Here we are somewhere in the middle of the time period and we don't know when was the last time when all three of the comets had the perihelion in the same year and if we knew that we could have just found the LCM and then added the LCM and the problem would have become very simple. So how to solve this kind of problem? How I solved it I'll share it with you. So to start with I'll just name them as Comet 1, Comet 2 and Comet 3. So let us have 1, 2 and 3. These are the three comets and this one has orbital period as 3 years and this one has orbital time as 8 years and this one has orbital time as 13 years and last time when they had perihelion was 2017 for the first one, 2014 for the second one and 2008 for the third one. So this one had last perihelion in 2017 and the orbital period is 3 years so before 2017 it had perihelion in the year of 2000 and 14. So these two comets together had their perihelion in 2014 and the orbital period of this is 3 years and the second one is 8 years that means in every 8 multiplied by 3 24 years they are having their perihelion together and perihelion is actually the moment at which the comet is closest to the sun. So every 24 years these two are having their perihelion together. The next year when they will have their perihelion together will actually be 2014. This is the year in which first and second had their perihelion together plus 24 multiplied by x. So this expression will actually give us all the years in which these two planets will have their perihelion together and the expression 2008 plus 13 multiplied by y will give you all the years in which the Comet 3 will have its perihelion and for them to have perihelion together these two expressions should have the same value right and now let me solve this so 2014 minus 2008 can be written as 13y minus 24x or it can be written as 6 equal to 13y minus 24x right so for this to have a positive value the value of y will be more than value of x and the value of y should be approximately the double of value of x. So let me assume the values of x and y as 1 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 6 and 4 and 8. Let me substitute each pair over here and see when I get 6. So if I assume the value of x as 1 and the value of y as 2, 13 multiplied by 2 minus 24 multiplied by 1 will give us 13 twos are 26 minus 24 is Two. and when I assume the value of y as 4 and the value of x as 2 this will actually be equal to 13 multiplied by 4 is 52 minus 48 and this will be equal to 4 and when I assume the value of x as 3 and value of y as 6 I'll get 13 multiplied by 6 minus 24 multiplied by 3 and this will be equal to 78 minus 72 and this is equal to 6. That means this set of values of x and y satisfy this equation. So this is the solution for x and y. So I'll substitute the value of x which is 3 over here and the value of y equal to 6 over here and both these expressions should have the same year and that will be the year in which all of them will have their perihelion together. So when I substitute x equal to 3 this will be 214 plus 24 multiplied by 3 that is 72 and if I substitute the value of y is equal to 6 then this will be equal to 2008 plus 78 
and 2014 plus 72 will give you 2086 and 2008 plus 78 will also give you 2086. So 2086 will be the year in which all these three comets will have their perihelion together. So this is how I solve this problem and if any one of you have a different solution, please send it to me. It will help me increase my knowledge. So that's all for this video and if you also have any problem, you can WhatsApp your problem to the number shown in the screen and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.